Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I've been gone for some time due to life and family and such, but I'm back now. I have this table that I am going to be refinishing and I got a new camera and I don't know how to work it. <laughs> so this footage right here of me, um, this was completely lifted off and um, now I just took a, an X-Acto knife and I cut it and uh, peeled it back. There were a couple other areas. There's a spot right here that you can see. And if you look here, you can just see the table is just completely worn and very tired. It does have one center leaf. And then there's the base. So I'm super excited to be um, partnering with Retikit. They graciously sent me a whole bunch of goodies. And this is what I'm going to be using to finish my uh, table. I've got the um, wooden primer in the light. I've got two of those, so I think I'll, I'll have quite a bit of leftover stuff. I've got the triple teak. This is the, um, it's like the top coat satin. I have the barn wood um, gel stain, I believe this is. Then I have the whitewash. And these are big jars. This is a 16 ounce jars. And then obviously these are small. I also have um, the pecan um, gel stain. And then they sent me some graining tools and a brush. For the finish, uh, for the fixing, I will be using the Bondo. Uh, now it is a body filler. Uh, for cars but I really like it there's a wooden one that you can get and I just got mine at Walmart actually So um, I'm going to give this thing a good cleaning now. I've sanded everything and uh, just needs to be cleaned now. On the instruction sheet and on the website, it says right here, never use TSP uh, products. Now, Simple Green has TSP in it. And so I'm just going to use some warm water and some Dawn fish soap. And I'm going to give this a really good cleaning. I'm um, just the top, not the base. And then um, let that dry and then we can get started on the painting. So I'm going to start priming my table with the wooden primer. Again, this is the light. Alright, here's the table. I have given it two coats of the wooden primer. I'm not sure if you can really, it's like a creamy type of color. And I also did the rim right here, and then obviously I did not do the base because I'm going to be doing something else with that. But um, it's time to grain it. I'm excited. It actually feels like. Um, a piece of wood it's so cool like not like chalky but like an actual piece of wood okay I have my um, barn wood wooden stain I've got my graining tools 
brush and spray brush to dab off the grainy tools. So. Even just like that would look nice. Hey, check that out man that is really cool so um, I was hoping to kind of get the grain and just kind of pull it across this little lip here but it is not it's just not working it looks really unnatural and so um, I think I'm just gonna leave it like that just kind of have that you know brushed look it's not what I had in mind, but you know, this is my first time using this and I'm really liking the outcome here. It looks gorgeous. So um, I'm going to go ahead, continue and do the rest of the table. Here, I'm just going to go with the small grinding tool. Mm. Like so. And then I'm going to go around and do the whole thing. I can absolutely leave it like this. But, um, and this is a really nice rustic look. It's really nice. Um, but I'm going for more of a weathered look. So I'm going to go back in with my wooden stain in barn wood. And I'm going to go over it and give it a light coating everywhere. You can see the sides right there. Right there. I think it turned out so cool. I'm so excited. This is really fun. You guys really, you gotta try this. Just lightly go over it. And again, it feels, it's got this rough sort of texture. It's 
feels like the two by four, sort of. Very cool. And it does have wood in it, right? So. Ooh, look at that. So you can see, oh yeah, you can totally see the difference. See how, you know, this looks raw and rustic and this looks... All right, so here's the table. And oh my goodness, I love it. It is so nice, but not done yet. Got another step for the top here, uh, aside from the top coat. A final layer before the top coat, I'm gonna put a whitewash on it and that's gonna give it that, I think it was French oak <laughs> look that I'm going for, so. Instructions say to let it sit for three to five minutes. So I'm gonna brush on this whole section and then I'm gonna come in. Well, I'll do a little bit first and see what I like. So pretty cool. Um, I think I'm gonna let it sit for a bit longer though. So there is the whitewashed and the, uh, not whitewashed. <laughs> and I am in love with it. It, I'm just, I love this stuff so much. I'm so giddy. It is fun and I just, I wanna keep going. I wanna do all the things now. So anyhow, love the results. I'm gonna continue and I'm gonna do the rest of it and then uh, we will continue. I also want to say here, I um, ended up doing half of the leaf and then the other half, and I would definitely not recommend that. Do it in plank size. That's what they say to do, and I don't know why I didn't. Um, but in the end, you can kind of tell that there's a little bit of an overlap, and it's okay. I mean, I'll live with it. It's just, you know, try not to do that. I have scuff sanded it and propped it up. I'm gonna go ahead and paint it. I'm gonna be using some primer and my favorite, 
in the color Varnished Ivory. And uh, I think it's gonna look really nice with the top. I'm going to be gluing the leaf in place and then um, I'm going to add some uh, like brackets at the bottom to keep it closed. It does have the latching system and whatnot, but I just absolutely hate that the food falls in there. You got to open it and it's just it's super annoying. I hate tables with leaves. So I'm going to be gluing this together since I'm at this point here and um, it isn't a huge table. It seats six comfortably um, and uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and top coat this baby. I'm gonna give it at least two coats, possibly more. Uh, it says give it uh, one to two thin coats. One thing that I am not thrilled about is that it says that um, you should let it cure for about a week before light use. So obviously <laughs> it's not gonna get used in a while here now. And it says it takes a month to fully cure. But I mean, I could technically just use a different top coat if I wanted to, but I have this and I want to try it. So I'm going to use it. I primed the base earlier and I'm gonna go ahead and give it its first coat of paint. I'm not gonna take the top off though for this because um, it's gonna work fine to do it with the top on. As you can see. And in case anybody was wondering, you can still get at the screws there. Sure to, you know, attach the top. Alright, so I've given the, the top four coats and there's not a whole lot left of the um, top coat, triple teak. And I feel like it would be enough, but because there's not a whole lot left, I think I'll get one more coat, like a thin one. Something to keep in mind if you're gonna try this, if you look, uh, if I hold the camera just right, you can see the texture. So it's not a smooth surface, like it feels like wood. So keep that in mind if y'all are gonna give this a go. But I love it. So before we do the final reveal, I would love to your input. Loves your input. Yes, that's what I said. I have two styles of chairs here. I have four of the one and two of the other. And um, I'm thinking of possibly doing the seats in the retique it with the graining. And then the other ones are going to be sprayed the same color uh, that the base of the table was. So I'd love your input. If you, could, if you guys could help me out, leave me a comment. Let me know what y'all would like to see. I would appreciate that very much and this needs to be done sooner rather than later because it does not look good with um, the nice table and these chairs. Also I just wanted to quickly say that the table has stood for a week before I brought it in the house so thanks for watching so much and thanks again to Retique It.